Hi Gemini, welcome back to my channel, Queen of All the Tree. So I have your third party situation reading, okay? Um, so the song Fat was playing while I was channeling you guys' this energy. We have Crazy Over You 112, okay? We have um, Go to Mars. That, um, I forgot that guy name. I think that's Golden Mars, but it's the one with T Grizzly on it, okay? And, um, the song is called Golden Mars, and it's the one with T Grizzly. And then we have, um, Failing You by 3LW, okay? And the song that's currently playing right now is. Skies wide open. Brian, um, I don't know who the fuck these people is. I'm sorry. If somebody Brian something, skies wide open. So somebody feeling like things is happening at the right time, like the stars is aligning, things is aligning. Properly in the stars or in the skies right now. Okay. Um, so let's go on ahead and get into your reading. One second. I'm going to put some of this stuff in here because I don't think I did. So I think I dropped it earlier. All of it had came out. I only put a little bit in there. Okay, that stuff smelly smells good. It's like a lavender, um, a lavender scent. It smells really great. Okay, um, so. Let me um, shuffle my clarifying deck really quickly before I get started. So yeah, I'm picking up somebody is feeling like like things is finally being aligned. Okay, like the sky is wide open, like something is I'm feeling like somebody is, is saying that something is it's like the perfect timing for something here. Or well, somebody is feeling like something is happening at the perfect timing. Okay, um, let me just cut this off a little bit. Okay, so the way this divine masculine is feeling about the divine feminine in this third party situation, we have chemistry. Okay, and it says a strong magnetic. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And that was clarified with the Ace of Wands. So this masculine definitely feels a strong magnetic attraction with this Divine Feminine. Okay, there's definitely a lot of chemistry here. And with the Ace of Wands, this masculine definitely wants to pursue um, what he feels here with this Divine Feminine. Okay, um, he wants a brand new passionate beginning. Clarify this Ace of Wands, please and thank you, Holy Spirit. We have the Tower of Woman. Yeah, he's realizing that he has a lot of passion for this um, divine feminine. Okay, um, and this could he could have got this realization after he walked away from this feminine here. Okay, um, clarify this Tower, please. But that could have been something that got in the way with the Tower as well. I'm about to see what the Tower is about. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, um, Page of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups, okay? Um, so, yeah, that could have been some truth that came out here um, that somebody was indecisive to tell somebody. So, this could have been, like, messages about um, finances or stability, okay, or 
somebody expressing their emotions here. So somebody could have been indecisive, but I kind of feel like the truth that came out. So I feel like this masculine, you know, he's realizing who he has a lot of passion with, who he really connects with on um on a on a cosmic level here and the truth is being revealed okay i kind of feel like there may have been some type of stalemate type of energy here where these two may not be in communication may have been in communication or something okay um but i kind of feel like some good news is about to come forward and i feel like this masculine is going to be expressing his love or expressing his emotions here or saying or expressing the way he actually really feels so this divine feminine here. Yeah. yeah, I kind of feel like he already, he's like at this state because he has like a choice that he needs to make with this two of pentacles here and this two of wands. So it's like things may be a little bit unstable right now or imbalanced, but I feel like he wants to move forward, okay, um, with this relationship with this divine feminine he, towards what he's more passionate about, okay, with this page of um, wands. Yeah, he sees her as attractive, okay? He can't get over her beauty here with this, um, with this, um, Queen of Wands energy. So the feminine is showing up as the Queen of Wands to the Divine Masculine. All right. So the way this Divine Masculine is feeling about the comic person in a relationship, we have, um, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, and it says, Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. And let's clarify with the sun. Okay, so I kind of feel like there's definitely a need for them to have a conversation. Okay, um, to get some things clear. Okay, to get some, to offer some clarification. Okay, with between these two. So there's definitely a need for them to talk. Okay, in order to clear some shit up. Clarify the sun, please. We have the ten of swords. We have to clear up some type of ending or some type of betrayal here. Or something, some type of deception. So there's definitely some deception going on between this karmic and this divine masculine. And there's a need for this, for something to be illuminated here. For them to talk about it. Okay. Um, could have been something that happened in the past. Or put things to rest that happened in the past. Because I've seen the Six of Cups. Or them just putting betrayals. Betrayals. Put, I said betrayals. Betrayals <laughs> to arrest. Um, clap on this ten of swords and this sun. Okay, so yeah, we have the um, wheel of fortune here. Okay, um, and then we have the page of swords and the eight of pentacles. Um, so I kind of feel like things is working out the way that it's supposed to work out here with this wheel of fortune here. Okay, um, but I kind of feel like Yeah, because somebody is working hard, okay, to find out some type of information. Okay, um, and I feel like the masculine is gonna reveal some type of clarity here. So I don't know if who's the spying one here. It could be this um comic person, okay, who's doing the spying here, trying to work hard. They they put a lot of effort in, okay, into getting some type of information here. And the way this page of swords is looking right here is looking at the situation with the um, divine feminine and the divine masculine over here, okay? Um, so somebody is definitely working hard here to find out some type of information, which information that they found out could have been um, considered as a betrayal or a stab in the back. But I feel like it's everything is happening in a good timing. Like this was all supposed to happen here and now things is being revealed with the sun. So now this masculine has to face this, whatever this person has found out um, about them, okay? And he's going to clarify everything, okay? Um, I kind of feel like whoever this comic person is, they shown up as the, the queen of swords, okay? Um, and this is a more logical type of person, okay? But this person been through a lot of shit, okay? This person, um, this person really has been through a lot of things, okay? Um, been through you know, been through the ringer, you know, um, that's what I'm saying, they, but they really been through a link, the ringer, but this person don't have no cut cards, like, they will tell you everything, like, how it is, you know, they don't hold shit back, and I feel like this person is not holding back what they found out here, but I kind of feel like this person is trying to see things from a different perspective, okay, 
or trying to see something clearly or just trying to analyze it. Like this, like I said, this person is a thinker. So they think and they're trying to analyze shit, you know, trying to put it in terms that make it make sense to them. Based off of what they found out here. Okay, so the way that this person is feeling, this kind of person in a relationship is feeling about divine masculine, we have express your love and it says, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay, and we have the eight of wands. So this person wants this masculine to express the way that he feels. He, they want the masculine to communicate, okay, the way that they feel about them, okay? Clarify the Eight of Wands. It's like somebody is trying to be understanding about the situation or trying to get, think logically, like trying to get some type of understanding. Clarify the Eight of Wands. So we have the Three of Pentacles, I mean the Three of Cups. So this person is trying, it's like whoever this calling person is, they want this masculine to communicate with them. And express the way that they feel, okay? Um, this person could want to reconcile with this divine masculine here, okay? Um, after this betrayal, after something that they found out, because I do see they may be talking about the situation. And this person may want a brand new passionate beginning here with this ace of wands. But I kind of feel like there's definitely something, some secrets that's being hidden here behind this high priestess or there's things that's not being said. Yeah, there's things that's not being said or things that somebody is not really saying. They're keeping it secretive. Um, yeah, things that's not being said, things that's some, some, this, this, um, something is being kept secret. Okay? And I kind of feel like this person is thinking logically about the situation, like somebody that has a head over heart decision that they need to make here, okay, um, with this King of Swords. This could be the person who's holding this information to themselves, okay, so we have air sign coming out, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So this masculine can definitely be um, communicating with this common person here, you know, trying to reconcile with them, you know, um, trying to, you know, trying to reconcile with them, trying to, you know, have a passionate opportunity with them in secret or something like that. They definitely communicate via text message here. But I kind of feel like somebody found out something here from what the masculine is saying. Somebody is definitely watching somebody at work too. Nine of Pentacles, Three of Wands. 
Page of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. There's a lot of earth energy here and a lot of earth and um, fire energy. So it's like somebody wants to be single and independent and continue to do their own thing because they trying to move, they trying to make plans moving forward to offer something towards somebody that they want to be in a union with. Okay. And it's a lot of yellow here. So I kind of feel like this is the things that's going to be revealed, okay, when it comes to this conversation that these two are going to be having with this sun, because the sun is yellow. This is a lot of yellow. So What's going to be revealed is that somebody wants to become independent or be single or somebody is satisfied with being single, okay, because they want to be able to make offers, you know, elsewhere. So there's a possibility that the situation between this comic person and this divine masculine will be changing, okay, um, transforming or things may come to an end with the yellow and the death card. Hold up one second, you guys. I don't understand why y'all making all that noise. Literally, it's early in the morning. Like the sun isn't even up yet. Y'all want to be making a bunch of noise. It's 5.58 on the clock, actually. Okay, so the way that this uh, the way that this calling person would be viewing the divine feminine, we have keep an open mind, and it says your soulmate may differ from the usual type of expectations. And so we have the six of pentacles. So I kind of feel like this person, this calling person, may be trying to keep an open mind when it comes to this divine feminine in the picture. Okay, um, when it comes to giving equally in the situation, now. Um, Six of Pentacles, please. Yeah, they actually thinking about it. I was getting ready to say that. I'm so glad. Yeah, this person is actually thinking about this shit. Okay, they actually contemplating and thinking about keeping an open mind about this divine masculine giving equally to this divine feminine here. We have the star card, we have the emperor, we have the four of swords, okay? Clarifying the six of pentacles. So this person is actually contemplating, okay, or keeping an open mind when it comes to this divine masculine, okay, um, given equally in, to both people in the situation, okay, with the star it's like this person is hoping that they can be with this divine masculine because I also kind of feel like somebody needs to heal. Okay, there's, there's some type of healing process that needs to happen with the star card and this um, four of swords. And I feel like it's the masculine. Like, the reason why this person is willing to stay in the situation is because it's like they help the masculine heal from things. Like, the masculine comes to this person for relief. And that's why we have the Ace of Wands and the um, High Priestess. It's because it's like there's something secretive when it comes to this passionate beginning between this masculine and this karmic person here okay like they could be friends you know what i'm saying with the three of cups they definitely friends they definitely communicate so this could be like a friends with benefits type of situation so the masculine comes to this comic person when he needs to heal when he re needs to relieve so she's keeping an open mind about the situation about him giving to two but the masculine is trying to have a heart to heart conversation with this person because He's laying shit out on the table. Like, this is what it is, and this is what's going to happen. 
because this person, the karmic person was watching or was looking for information here. So moving forward, I kind of feel like there's going to be some truthful communication that comes out here or somebody is going to get some clarity, okay, from the karmic person to the divine feminine. Um, somebody is going to get some clarity moving forward with this Ace of Swords or there's going to be some um, truthful communication that's going to be spoken moving forward. Or somebody's going to get some clarity as far as the direction that this situation is taken here. And this is all to make the divine masculine happy. We have the emperor coming out again with the ten of cups. He's here. Yeah, the emperor with the ten of cups. This is all to make this divine masculine happy here. Okay, with this emperor and this ten of cups. They may have a family together or something. I don't know. But mostly when I see the ten of cups, it's about like unconditional love. Somebody really loves this divine masculine here. Whether this is both these people, when I feel like this is this um karmic energy may have picked up feelings. It's like the mascot is happy with the shit. You know, the way that it is. But somebody found out about another relationship here, okay? With the Page of Swords and the Two of Cups. So these are these two cards is repeating itself. Because we have the Page of Swords here with this karmic person and this divine masculine. So the karmic person found out about the relationship with the divine feminine. What's the name of this song? Long Distance by Brandy. It's a song called Long Distance. Distance is killing me. This long distance is killing me. So it's like this person is like okay with it. So I don't know if these, is this divine masculine and this divine. I mean, this is why Madison and this calm person is in a distance with each other because they may work together or something. But it's like the long distance is killing them. So they may not be living together, but they just secretly fucking each other with the Three of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the High Priestess here. And they be communicating with each other. They text each other. There may need to be some type of traveling involved here. But this person loves this masculine for sure. And I feel like the masculine definitely let this person know or gave them some clarity on what it is based off the conversation that they had. So this person is like keeping an open mind about this situation. Okay, so I don't know who the masculine had family with. Could be with the divine feminine or something. I'm not sure. But the way this shit is arranged or set up is like all this is to keep the masculine happy. But this karmic person found out about the divine feminine, found out about the relationship between the masculine and the feminine here. And she's trying to work it out. She's trying to work through it. She's trying to work it out here. Okay, with this um, Eight of Pentacles. She's just trying to work through the situation. Now that she found out the information, her and the masculine had a conversation about it. She's just trying to work on it now, like work through the shit. You know, trying to keep an open mind on how this can all work together. You know, we have the Nine of Cups because this is somebody's wish fulfillment. This masculine is a wish fulfillment here. And she doesn't want him to leave, okay? With the Six of Swords, she doesn't want him to leave. She doesn't want him to go anywhere. She doesn't want him to close out the cycle, okay? With the World card, she doesn't want... To be alone, okay, with the Hermit card, she doesn't want any conflict, okay? She doesn't want any conflict with the, uh, 
Yeah, she doesn't want to be alone, but I feel like it's like this shit is conflicting. It's a conflict. It's a problem. Like, ugh. Lord have mercy. She's conflicted as to whether or not she should walk away from the situation. So the way that this comic, I mean, the divine feminine is feeling about the divine masculine in this situation. We have calling in your soulmate, your prayers, visualizations. I mean, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you, bring you together. Okay, so this divine feminine is calling this masculine in. Okay, so they definitely have a lot of chemistry between these two. The masculine already said this here. They may not be in communication, but there's definitely some truth that needs to come out that this masculine needs to um, speak to this feminine here, okay? Um, and then let's clarify with the Ace of Swords, okay? So he has the Ace of Swords over here as well, okay, that came out. So this feminine here is, you know, um, starting to get some type of realizations here or something when it comes to her masculine here and... Some truth is starting to be revealed. Clarify this Ace of Swords. We have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, so she's going to hang in there in the situation. So I kind of feel like she's kind of tired, you know, hanging in here with the situation with this Divine Masculine. Um, and maybe there's a need for this masculine to come forward and clarify some things to her. And he's also saying this as well because he's leaving her in this, like, this energy of, like, they may not be in communication or something like that, okay? Um, but she's hanging in here in this situation, even though she feels hurt here with this Three of Swords energy, okay? Even though she's feeling hurt. Okay, by the separation, because now I feel like they're in separation now or something. Um, even though she's feeling hurt here by the separation, she's still with this brand new um, love opportunity with this masculine. She still loves this masculine here. Okay, they definitely have a good connection. She wants to reconcile. She's thinking about him. You know, she's bringing him in. She's calling him in with this um, calling in your soulmate call by thinking about the memories that they share and things like that. Okay, with the Six of Cups. She wants a full commitment from this divine masculine. She wants a future with him, okay, with this um, knight of wands. This masculine is like a player type of energy, okay? So he's definitely showing up as a fire sign for sure. Um, here as well, and here, uh, Aries or Sagittarius. Yeah, she knows that he's a player, you know? She knows that he gets a lot of attention. He's very attractive. You know what I'm saying? But she's trying to... She feels like maybe she can tame him. Okay? She feels like maybe she can tame him from this energy that he... This in and out of energy that he, you know, presents here. She do see this masculine has a lot of confidence as well. But she knows that it's going to take some time... You know, for him to give equally to her in this situation, okay, with the paint, the knights of um, pentacles and the six of pentacles, yeah, and here for the relationship, okay. So she knows it's going to take him a while. It's going to take him some time to give equally to her, okay, because I feel like this feminine may be doing most of the work in the situation. Or giving more of herself, more of her energy or something, okay? So the way that this feminine is viewing this karmic person in the situation, we have give your rela your relationship a chance. And it says work on your partnership, okay? And that's clarified with the emperor card here. And we have um, the queen of cups, okay? So I um, Have an affair. Act like an adult for once. Plus my hand is up his skirt. God damn you flirt. <laughs> this motherfucker a player. This is this masculine's energy here. <laughs> you look like the I like your rough type. Yes. Listen to this song. Um, Best of Me by Maya. When you put that thing on me, I can't 
Let you. Yeah, it's like this masculine is a fucking player, y'all. I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah, player for sure. You know, player, player from the Himalayas. But his ass is fine as shit, though. And both of these women is crazy over this shit, over his ass, for sure. He got both of these women crazy over him. He real muscular, probably. Real, real attractive. You know, a lot of people pay attention to him. He's real confident. Real self-assured about himself. You know. So, the way this Divine Feminine is feeling about this um, comic person here. Okay. Um... She knows that this comic person has an attachment to this divine masculine, okay, or something, okay. I don't know. She knows that this comic person loves this divine masculine or has some type of e emotional connection with this divine masculine, with this queen of cups and this emperor, okay, because the masculine is showing up as the emperor here. All right, and she knows that this that this comic person is trying to work on the situation with this divine masculine here okay so maybe this masculine did offer this communication or spoke some type of truth to this comic so it's looking like he's being honest with everybody or he's pretty much laying everything on the table for everybody and it's up to everybody to see what it is that they want to do when it comes to him Because this comic person already told this Divine Feminine, or what this comic person is telling me about how she feels about Divine Feminine is that she's keeping an open mind about all of this. So I feel like the masculine could have revealed this truth here. Tell me more about this Emperor and this Queen of Cups with the work on your partnership, please. So we have the four, I mean the four, the Eight of, Pimps, the eight of Wands, and we have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, so they're going to be communicating here about... Um, about starting a new love opportunity. So there's definitely communication here about starting brand new as far as this love is concerned. Or this new love opportunity here. They could be texting each other about this. Somebody is definitely texting somebody that they love that they love the other person here. And they want to start anew. So I feel like they're definitely trying to work on the situation. And then we have the strength card here. Somebody is definitely trying to be strong in a situation. Okay, uh, somebody is confident that the situation is going to work out. Let me see what y'all advice is. This shit is May I'm not judging, you know. What is the advice, please, for Gemini? Holy Spirit, what is the advice for Gemini, please, for this third party situation? Okay. So we have, um, whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. Proverbs 11.25. Okay, so 11.25 may be significant to you guys, but I kind of feel like, you know, um, I kind of feel like whoever, okay, I kind of feel like whoever, you know, uplifts the other person will be uplifted. Um, I don't know how you would take that message here. Um, but it says whoever will be refreshed will be, will refresh, whoever refreshes others will be refreshed here. What other um, advice do we have for the Geminis, please? So we have sacred union. It says honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Okay, so this is definitely a sacred union here between this masculine and this feminine. We have, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of playing your, putting, placing your focus on another noun. Another. Now is the time to give to yourself. 
So that's definitely a need for somebody to definitely take a break here um, and be to themselves. Okay, give start spending time with yourself, focusing more on self, okay? And then we have a message for you. I am thinking of you at this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Okay, so somebody is definitely thinking about somebody um, at this moment. I kind of feel like this is what the person that's in separation. And some of this masculine and this feminine is in separation here. Um, based off of what this masculine is telling me here. And then we have power. It says you instinctively know what is right for you. And you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Okay, so this is saying that the choice is yours. You know, you can put up with the situation if you want to. Or, you know, you can walk away at any time. You know, the choice is yours. The power is in your hands. You know, the ball is in your court. So, if this resonated with you, hopefully it gave you some sort of clarity in your situation. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next reading.